What's up everybody? It is a beautiful day here in Florida to do a vlog and show you around Lakewood Ranch. I'm Francesca Hanahoe. And I'm Richard Hanahoe. All right, so today we are gonna show you the drive from Star Farms to Waterside. We're also gonna show you around Star Farms. There's a lot of updates going on in here and new and exciting things coming. So we thought, you know what? A lot of you that reach out to us ask us about the drive from Star Farms to the Waterside location where the downtown area is, where the shops and the restaurants are. So you know what? Today, we're gonna show you what it's like and then make sure you stay till the end because we're also gonna be showing you a Neil signature community in Lakewood Ranch that's being built right now. That is very close to Waterside Place. Yes. But just so you know where we are right now, we are Star Farms obviously, and we are in the northeast corner of Lakewood Ranch. Yes, we are. So let's show you what this place is looking like. You know, we have a few clients that have actually purchased already in here, and they are very happy about what's going on in this community. So let's go take a look. Let's talk about what's going on here. We have some beautiful custom-built homes by John Cannon, Lee Weatherington, and Arthur Ruttenberg. And then we have DR Horton building three different lines. What? And now we have West Bay coming in. So this is the 24-hour man-gated entrance. This is the main entrance. Currently, there is an additional entrance to the community. So right now, it's easy to get in here because of the builders are doing their builder thing, but obviously that's gonna be 24 hour man gated. You won't be able to get in here unless you have access from a resident. So we got a few different builders in here, don't we? We do. So let's go ahead and, and just get started right here. So with... this, yeah, so I was saying before we went through the guard gate, DR Horton's building three different lines this right here that you're about to see is their emerald line so this is their higher end line and you're going to get a bigger house if you're looking for a bigger house here you've got the tile roofs yeah just remember with dr horton if you've been watching our videos we always say we like dr horton we know their construction very well especially their second story product dr horton does first story block and second story block so that is that's great construction if you ask me with my background Obviously, you can see they, they're turning a nice product in here. Yeah, it's, these are really beautiful. Now, we're gonna show you the update on the amenities today. This is an amenity-rich community. They're gonna have about four amenity centers in this community, and the main one is almost open. They're saying it's gonna be open in spring of 24. They're working really hard on it right now, and it's looking almost ready. And if you're wondering how many lots are left in this community, I can't tell you how many there is, but there's a lot. So they'll be building for a couple more years. In yeah, here. obviously these are future phases that we're looking at over here. And as of right now, DR Horton owns this, all these lots right here. So we've been watching this community for about a year and a half and it's really starting to come together now. Yeah, actually one of our most watched videos on our YouTube channel is of this community where we toured, I believe the John Cannon home, the Ballara. One of my favorite John Cannon homes, by the way. The smaller products that we're showing you or about to show you, these are gonna be the 55 and up line that DR Horton is doing. So the 55 and up line, even though it's not gonna be age restricted, they're gonna have their own set of amenities here which is really what's been attractive for some of our clients that we have moving into this community. So if you want to live in this community, you want to enjoy the restaurant and the clubhouse and all that, but sometimes you want to be able to go to a pool and not have a bunch of kids splashing around, you're going to have your own pool with this product line. And you're also going to have your own activity director or lifestyle coordinator, if you will. So there's actually going to be two lifestyle coordinators in this community. One that's for the whole community and then one that's strictly just for the 55 and up line. So that's really been a big deal to some of our clients as they're moving here from out of state and they want to make sure that they have a lot of ways to meet their neighbors and make some friends and things like that. Yes, and if you guys have been watching our videos, I used to work for DR Horton, so I'm very familiar with their product. So these homes in the Freedom Line, they're building them as inventory homes. And I would say they start in the mid fives and go up to mid sixes. The Emerald Series, I saw that on their website, they're average it starts in the high fives and goes up from there but I think really with the Emerald series you can expect to be somewhere between 700 and 900 when it's all said and done. If you can probably see off in the distance there's one of 
four clubhouses that this community has and we'll cruise right on over there so you can check it out. These are their models right here. Yep. Yeah, and we did another video in here where we toured the models. So if you're interested in seeing the tours of the models, I will link that video here for you guys. All right, so this is one of their four clubhouses under construction. We believe that this is going to be the amenities for the 55 and up. I don't want you to quote me on that because I am not 100%, I'm like 90%. All right, so if you're into pickleball, here you go, they got you covered. Plenty of pickleball courts and I would imagine tennis as well. Since we're talking about the amenities, this community is gonna have a restaurant, it's going to have basketball courts, volleyball courts, baseball fields. So it is definitely gonna be an amenity rich community. They're gonna have an event lawn, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, and workout facility as well. Tons of places to have classes and things like that. All right, so these are some more Emerald products here. We're gonna get through this Emerald product right here and then we're gonna squeeze on over here and show you some of our favorite custom builders that are in here. Look at this, it's another trash can day. I don't know what it is, but we do so many videos and it seems to be on trash day. I don't know how that works out. <laughs> the luck. So these lots right here are owned by Arthur Ruttenberg, Lee Weatherington, John Cannon, so if you're looking to build a custom home. There's not very many left that are available. There's a Lee Weatherington home right there. Arthur. Right here's Arthur Ruttenberg. So, you know, Arthur Ruttenberg and Lee Weatherington have closed their models. The investors that purchased them as a leaseback have moved in. But if you're interested in touring a John Cannon Bellara, which is our favorite model, you can still come tour that here. So if you're interested in building, let's say, with John Cannon in Everly, you can still come over here and check out the Bellara. But yeah, these, these homes are just stunning. So if you can dream it, Lee Weatherington and John Cannon, either one of them, can build it for you, full custom. Yep, so funny story, we came over here with our clients, showed them the Ballara, and that used to be Lee Weatherington's model. We almost walked right inside of it. It took us a minute to realize that the owners had moved in and it wasn't their model anymore. But here's the Ballara, and uh, like I said, I do have a video where we toured that, so I'll make sure that that's linked somewhere for you guys. So out here in Star Farms, there's, as you can see, a lot of open space. Oh my gosh. They have a really, are, <laughs> checking out the bird. Really big birds back <laughs> there. I'm trying to figure out what they are. I like, they look like maybe they were a turkey or something. They were so big. So if you can see this trail right here, I, I don't even know how many miles they have in here, but it's over 20 miles of trail. So if you're into biking, you can see it's pavement, so you can bike on there. Yes. And uh, obviously if you have a golf car, you want to go for a run, a walk, whatever, you got a lot of walkability out here. So we're gonna drive over and show you these amenities. The main amenity center is going in. As we went around that circle, just so you guys know, we took a right and we went to the right side of the community. Now we're on the left side of the community. So we just passed the main entrance just to give you some bearings there. I can see the fitness equipment on the bottom level there. I believe this is gonna be an indoor basketball court in here as well. You are correct. But I see them setting up the gym in there right now as we speak. Now we were hoping to get in here today, but we can't. It's, it's not gonna work out. They got some armies going on in here. I had to wrap this up. Whenever you see that landscaping going in, they're pretty much done. This is what's coming in here. It's called the Resort Club. I'll hop out. So that's what's gonna look like when it's all said and done. Really beautiful pool with plenty of chairs and cabanas around it. So now we're gonna pull over here if we can. Hopefully we can. Let's see. West Bay is over here trying to get their models open and their inventory homes completed. They have several homes that are inventory homes over here. The ones that are inventory are all gonna be from around 1 million going up to like 1.2. Two, but their floor plans, if you want to pick out your options, really start at seven and go up from there. But once you pick out your options in your lot, they're up around a million. Yeah, and originally West Bay wasn't going to be in this community, but they did purchase some lots from DR Horton. 
so they can get into the community, which is great. A little bit about West Bay. West Bay is located out of Tampa, Florida. So they're a local builder and they've been building for over 10 years. And I do like their product a lot. If you're watching our videos again, builder developer. So I, I had to get up to speed on West Bay about six months ago because they were building in Parish. But anyway, we're moving on. I like their product, their first story block. They are second story a wood frame construction, but they don't have stucco on the second floor. They're using cement board up there. So I like that a lot because you don't have to deal with any kind of stucco cracks or anything of that nature on the second floor. So it reduces the deferred maintenance on your home, but they're turning a nice product. I like it. Yep, beautiful. All right, so we're on the west side of the community now where DR Horton has a ton of lots over here and they've been building for over a year. But of course, this is the regular DR Horton product right here. So you have the first story block second story block this is their you know dr horton's more affordable line really you can tell there's shingle roofs these are not the emerald line but they are larger homes three car garages really affordable so if you're interested in pricing or anything like that just reach out to us and we'll give it to you yeah and they're building some great family homes here too as well yeah when we first came over to this community and met our sales rep steve one of the things that he was telling us all about the amenities and stuff and i believe they are going to have some after school programs for the kids to do inside the community at the clubhouse and stuff so that's going to be really awesome if you're moving here with a family. We've been working with Steve for a while in this community and he's a great guy to work with. One of the best salespeople I've ever worked with in my career. Shout out to you Steve. If you end up buying a DR Horton home in Star Farms Steve is definitely the guy to work with. That's our preferred sales guy here. So in Star Farms you're going to get a mix. Some of these homes are going to be on water some of them are gonna be on conservation and some are gonna back up to other homes. Also, they do have townhomes in here. So we're gonna take you over to the townhome section of this community. It's really a large community and it's laid out really well. Yeah, the location of the community is great. All right, so this is another amenity center is gonna be the pool here for the townhomes. These townhomes have garages. They're pretty nice too. We actually looked at them with one of our clients one day, but she actually decided to go with a home instead of a townhome. So again, DR Horton, first story block, second story block construction. So these are solid townhomes right here. Probably a lot less noisy, I'm sure. Now at these townhomes, you're not gonna get hurricane impact windows. So you're gonna have to hang shutters or hire someone to do it. We're exiting the community. And just to give you guys a little sense of how long it's gonna take we're gonna tell you the time is 2.37 and we are heading over to Waterside Place. Now I think a school just got out and we may you may be hitting some school traffic so you know it is what it is that may slow us down a little bit but typically this is a quick 15 to 20 minute drive it may take us a little bit longer because yeah, of the we're, time. We're showing 22 minutes right now on the GPS but I see a little bit of yellow and I'm pretty sure it's a school, but we're gonna find out on this ride here. All right, Richard, so tell us how we're driving there. All right, so we are going to get over to Lorraine Road, which is a major road that runs through Lakewood Ranch, runs all the way from Fruitville on the south side, all the way up to 60 really is where it goes up to. So it's a major road for this 50 square mile Lakewood Ranch beast, I like to call it. It's as big as Disney World. So to the right of us right here is one of our favorite communities. It sure is, the Esplanade at Azario. We were just there the other day showing our clients all the amenities because that is the best golf community in my opinion that's building new construction in this area really gorgeous community that's taylor morrison let us know in the comments below if you want us to do a drive through in there to our left is uh, lorraine lakes that's lennar's product over here yep another amenity rich community that's building pretty affordable homes you don't get to pick out your options though but lots of amenities and the amenities are already open there too as well all right so we're coming up on lorraine road now to head south we got a new ryan homes community going in right here so we're passing rangeland this is a little bit of a rural area around here, mixed in the Lakewood Ranch. It's like a pocket right here, just north of 70. We're coming up on 70 now. All right, so if you're in Star Farms and you want to get to the closest Publix yep. to do your shopping. We're coming up on it to our left here. 
so we're just to clarify we're at state road 70 and lorraine lakes and here's the public shopping so, center yeah here's the public There you go. So you've got a Panda Express right there. You got a McDonald's. There's a new, I think it's called Slim Chickens down there at the yeah, end. It is, yeah. So a chicken place. There's a Domino's across the street. There's a Wawa right here. You got a Dunkin' Donuts over here and another gas station. And I believe there's a barbecue place right in here as well. Yeah, and so just so you guys know, we're 10 minutes from Star Farms right now at this location. And you can take a right here and go west on 70, and that's gonna take you to 75. And then you get to 75, obviously, you can go north towards Tampa, or you go south towards Venice, Naples. Another cool thing to the right here, for you fitness people out there, to your right here, there's an LA Fitness. It's a monster. It's a big one. So obviously, if you've been watching our videos, you know we live in Venice. And I'm very jealous that Lakewood Ranch has that big LA Fitness because we have nothing <laughs> of the sorts. <laughs> we have a U-Fit. We have a U-Fit and we have this Anytime Fit, not Anytime Fitness, that's, it's like fitness Planet anytime. Fitness. And there's a Planet Fitness, but Planet Fitness doesn't have all the machines we like to use. So. Anyways, hopefully there'll be a gym coming to Venice soon. All right, so we're obviously going south on Lorraine Road. And as you can see around you, it's a little bit more established here. These homes have been around for a while. All right, so like Richard mentioned, these are more established. We've got Greenbrook Village right here. I believe this is one of the first communities in Lakewood Ranch. I believe those homes were built in the 90s. We got the Country Club right here. Beautiful golf community. Uh, really just gorgeous homes and really just laid out well. I believe their golf memberships though have a wait list or at least the last time we checked. If you want to know, just hit us with a comment below. And our country club entrance. Okay, Richard, what's the light that we're coming up to? And again, we have another Publix, Dunkin' Donuts, UPS store, Great Clips, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, so this is University Parkway. University Parkway is, goes east-west in Lakewood Ranch, and really this is like the middle of Lakewood Ranch. Also, we have an Aldi and an Ace Hardware over here, CVS. So we're gonna jump off and head west on University Parkway to just chop down the time a little bit. If you wanna take Lorraine down straight south, you can get to Waterside as well. Then you have to cut through a neighborhood, but if you take University Parkway right here, you can get right over to the UTC, and you can also take this straight all the way to the Sarasota International Airport as well, 30 minutes. And this is Deer Drive that we are taking a left on. And you can see all the entrance. You can see the signs and stuff that say Waterside. And this is still right here at the Country Club. It's a very large community. I don't know exactly how many homes or anything. All right, we're making that left onto Deer Drive right now. That's gonna take us right into Waterside Place. We got football field we're looking at here. That's home of the thunder. Just so you guys know, there is a large sports complex here. Right here is the Polo Club. So if you guys are into watching polo, they have uh, public events here sometimes. All right, so we're passing Shoreview, which is a beautiful community right there, built by Pulte. It's their high-end product, actually. Yeah, you can drive through Shoreview, and then you can get to Lake House Cove, homes by town. Another great builder in here in Lakewood Ranch. So there's three ways to get into Waterside Place. We're gonna take you in the main entrance right here. So just so you guys know, it is 2.56. So what did I, what time was it, two? I wanna say it was 2.37. Yeah, something like that. So really an easy drive, and we really didn't hit traffic at all, actually. Stopped at a couple lights, but nothing major. So these, these are apartments that you're looking at here. Luxury apartments. Luxury apartments. All right, so to the right is the Waterside Park. If you want to go over there, volleyball courts, playground for the kids, right on the lake. 
you know, there's so many new places coming in here now, I can't even keep up with it all. But here's Forks, which is a great breakfast and lunch spot. I'm sure you guys have heard of it already. So it's a good thing we're here on a Tuesday. So we got a jewelry store, we got a clothing store, monkeys. There's so many different places. Now we got Kilwins ice cream. I believe they have chocolates and stuff like that as well. You got your brewery. We got a brewery right here. You got Good Liquid, which is a great restaurant for lunch, sandwiches, beer, drinks, fun times. You got your coffee place right here. You got In My Homes Design Center here. Yeah. <laughs> the Black Dog, I'm not sure what that is. Haven't been there yet. 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 Deep Lagoon Seafood coming soon right here. Now here's the marina. This is pretty important right here. Yep, so this is where you can uh, actually, you know what? Let's just park right here and walk down there. Yeah, you can jump on. You can take a boat over to Homes by Town, Lake House Cove. They call it a water taxi here. It is a water taxi, yes. Let's go check it out. And also I believe it's going to go over to Kingfisher Estates. We got some restrooms here. I bet this seafood place is gonna be good. Oh, Deep Lagoon. There's one of those in Osprey. Gotcha. You know exactly what that restaurant is. It is a good restaurant. Yummy. Yeah, so got some hammocks back here. And this is the water taxi. So you scan, there's a code right here, you scan it to get information about times and drop off and all that kind of good stuff. Really beautiful out here. Yeah, I mean, how nice is it if you live over in Lake House Cove and you decide, hey, you know, I don't want to drive, I don't want to bike, and you can just jump on the water taxi, come over here, have I some know. cocktails, have some dinner. Yeah, you don't even have to worry about driving home. It's awesome. I'm sure you can get the taxi guy to cruise you around a little bit, have some fun on the lake. All right, so we are going to take you now over to the alcove, which is being built by Neil's signature, um, and just drive through the community to show you that. But uh, as we're leaving, I'm gonna show you some more stuff here at the downtown waterside here. So what goes on here Wednesday night? Yeah, ranch night gets, <laughs> this whole street gets blocked off and they have cornhole and music and food trucks, it's a good time. Yeah, if you get a chance to check it out, it's definitely some good fun, and you can bring the family. This Korean steakhouse is really good. Fun place to come with friends. I mean, this Kilwin's right here, it's killing me. <laughs> I would kill for some chocolate. It's almost Valentine's Day. Chocolate and jewelry, there you go. <laughs> There's a body bar place right there if you guys like to do those type of exercises, but there's also a barber shop and some other things. So this is just really convenient place to come if you're living over here to get things done. There's a nail salon, I believe, and there's a regular salon right there. So the alcove is five minutes from here. So we're just gonna take you on a quick ride over to Alcove, being built by Neil's signature. Now, ladies, like Richard mentioned, if you would like to go to the UTC. Richard, how far from the UTC are we right here? 15 minutes or 15 less. 15 minutes, yeah. So that's every kind of shopping you could possibly imagine. So close. There's a Saks Fifth Avenue, there's a Dillard's, there's a Macy's, and then tons of parcels outside of the mall as well with tons of restaurants. I mean, California Pizza Kitchen, Rocco's Tacos is now open over there. Just all kinds of stuff. You name it, they have it over I know, there. You name it, they have it. My daughter and I like to go to Cheesecake Factory. That's her favorite. So if you're thinking about moving here and you're looking for something or a location that's super convenient, Lakewood Ranch is definitely, it definitely has you covered in the way of shops, restaurants and things like that. So make sure you reach out to us when you are moving here because we are your Sarasota County relocation specialist. So we're gonna be heading south on the Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. So now we are located in the southwest corner of Lakewood Ranch. Taking you all around Lakewood Ranch today, showing you as much as possible. And this literally is Alcove. 
is not a huge community. It's really rather small. Now, I mentioned this on another video, but you know, if you're thinking about building an Everly located in Welland Park and you want to actually see some Neil Signature floor plans, give us a call because we can come and look at some of these homes that are under construction if they have a floor plan that you're interested in building over in Everly. So these are all on that water over there. So if you're looking for a community in Lakewood Ranch that's not amenity rich, this is one right here. Yeah, and the houses aren't terribly close to each other. There's a little bit of room in between them. That's what we hear a lot is nobody wants to be on top of their neighbors. Especially with all of y'all that are coming down here from up north. You guys are used to having more space over there. So Neil is one of our preferred builders. Obviously you can see their block construction. Their block on the first floor and wood frame on the second floor. And another thing that I like that Neil's doing out here, uh, just like West Bay up in Star Farms, is they've gotten rid of that stucco on the second floor and they're using cement board. Got a trail right here, walking trail to go on. Just a lot of water lots if that's what you're interested in. Now, do you want to do the jump out here? Because we're close to 75, but you can't hear it. Whew, I got to tell you guys, it is sunny outside today. It's windy. But the wind is so cold. You know, I got to say, I will hop out right here to show you guys if you can hear 75. You can hear it just a little bit. Actually, just a little bit, you can. So, you know, probably if you are worried about it, you don't want to pick one of these lots back here, but the ones that are more interior would be good. So with these signature homes in here, you're going to get your concrete tile roofs, your hurricane impact windows. Yep, and just keep in mind, this is semi-custom, so they give you a lot more flexibility, and there's a lot more design options that you have to choose from as well. Again, these lots right here would be good. Can't hear 75 over here. So obviously, this is not an amenity rich community, but they do have this launch area. So if you are uh, somebody who likes to paddleboard or if you have a canoe, you can come down here. Yeah, they did a good job here. That's a true launch. Throw your canoe up there, let it slide right into the water. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun actually. It's also there's, for your kayak there's too. There's no so. swimming in here per se. So I don't know if you really want to get out on your paddleboard, but I don't know, I guess you could. I'd go for it, for sure. Yeah, and it's really quiet over here, you guys. I don't hear 75. I've been told, but I can't confirm this, that you can actually come out here with a motorized boat, but obviously electric motorized boat, and the maximum, in, I believe, is like 20 horsepower is what I was told, but uh, I need to confirm that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we had a lot of fun showing you Star Farms, driving around that community. Then we showed you the drive to Waterside, we showed you the downtown area, and then we took you over here to see Alco being built by Neil Signature. But Richard, we have more to show these yes. people, right? We are gonna do a part two of this so that you can see a lot more of Lakewood Ranch. Yes, we have more communities over here that we definitely would like to show you, but we can't fit it into one video. And I think we're even gonna show you the drive to the beach. So make sure you stay tuned for part two of this video. It'll be live next week, Saturday at 10 a.m. We look forward to seeing you there. All right, guys. We'll see you, see you on the you, next one. See you on the next video. Bye bye.